Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm going to be covering templates. Templates are a very useful feature in RemNote, especially if you have ideas that all need to be categorized in a very particular way. So let's get right into it. So what are templates? Templates are tags that add preset children to your Rem. I think the best explanation would just be if I showed you how they worked. So let's say that I'm in pharmacology class and we're learning about a new drug today called NZT. It's supposed to make you very, very smart. Now somewhere else in my knowledge base, I created a template for drugs because every time I learn about a new drug, I wanna know what its mechanism of action is, I wanna know what its antidote is, what its contraindications are, and what the clinical uses are, especially in terms of medicine. So I portaled in the drug template that I made in the past, and if I expand this, you can see that I have mechanism of action, what the uses are, the benefits, the adverse effects, contraindications, and antidotes. So anytime that I tag a REM with drug, this template here, it's gonna add all of these descriptors to my REM, so I don't have to manually do it every single time. So as an example, I will tag NZT, this new drug, with drug. And you can see that all of those descriptors were automatically added to my REM. And then I can just turn these all into flashcards once I learn more about NZT. In my template itself, you also notice these numbers beside my REM. And this just shows me all the other times I've used this template before in the past. So if I click on the 192 for mechanism of action, you'll see all the different times I've used this drug template throughout my knowledge base, mostly to describe other pharmacologic agents in medicine. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually make templates, like how I made this drug template here. You can turn any REM you want into a template. It doesn't really matter which one it is. So let's just make a new one here. So let's say that I'm in history class and we're learning about the different countries of the world and I wanna make a template that adds what the capital of every country is and what bordering countries are touching that country. So I'm just gonna name this template country geography. Next, I'm gonna make slots for my template. Those are just the descriptors that are gonna appear once I add that template to my REM. For example, in my drug template, these are all the slots that I added. To make slots, just add children to your REM. So for this template here, I wanted to know capital city, I wanna know bordering city, maybe flag. To turn any child into a slot, use control plus alt plus S, and you'll see that the bullet changes to this icon here, meaning it's a slot. You can also do that using the slash menu. If I type in backslash, type in slot, I can add a slot. Or I can also use the Omni bar using control plus backslash, and I'm gonna add a slot to add a slot to this REM. And that's it. Now country geography has been turned into a template. So whenever I tag a REM with country geography, these three descriptors will be added to that REM. So let's walk through an example of that. So let's say I'm learning about Japan today. I'm gonna to tag Japan with country geography. After I tag Japan with country geography, which is that template that I just created up here, there is this blue three that showed up to the right. If I click on that three, I can either choose to add all the slots, all three slots, or I can choose exactly which one I wanna to add to this REM. If you want your templates to automatically add all the slots whenever you tag a REM, you can actually do so by going to the template and tagging the template with automatically add template. Now when I tag a REM with country geography, all three of these slots will be automatically added and I don't have to manually do so by clicking on that three and adding them in myself. As a demonstration, let's use another country, uh, Russia. I'll tag it with country geography. And you can see that all of those tags were automatically added. And as I tag more countries with country geography, this number over here will also increase, showing me that it's been further linked throughout my knowledge base. All right, everyone, that's everything you need to know about templates and RemNote, how to use them, how to create them, and how to automatically add the slots once you tag a REM. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.